Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how to install drivers and remove them also and have a quick look at troubleshooting them. And there are two ways we're going to be doing it. One is using Device Manager and the other is using PowerShell or the command prompt. Okay, so we have on our C drive, okay, in these folders, scanner driver and a printer driver. Whoops, where are we going? And a printer driver. There we go. Okay, that's in that. Basically, it's an INF file. Okay, and to see that, we need to have the file extensions. And we should have it somewhere over here. There we go. All right, brilliant. Okay, and you'll have another INF in the other folder as well. Okay, so let's start with PowerShell. Type in PowerShell. Make sure we run as administrator. Okay, type S. Okay, accept. Okay, CD backslash. Now we're in the C drive, DIR. We need to go to the printer driver. So CD printer driver, DIR. CD win x64 okay now it's quite simple okay basically before we have our device plugged in and on the computer we just type pnp util okay and then forward slash install we want to install it as well and then we have the add switch and because there's only one INF file in this, we can actually use the wildcard star.inf. Otherwise, we'd have to give the full name and then .inf. Okay, click enter. Okay, that'll process it and then it'll install it. Beautiful. Okay, we get this little prompt. Do we want to trust it? Yeah, we can say yes or no. In this case, I'll go along with that. Okay, happily done. All right, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, all we would need to do is just plug our device in, turn it on, and it should run. Okay, if we wanted to remove it, basically it's almost the same. PNP util, the only thing is D, delete, and we would force it if the device is currently running, and we must give it it name. Okay, it's OEM, OEM3.inf. What Windows does is for each new device driver added, it creates a new name, so OEM3, OEM4, OEM5, etc. Make sure we delete only that one, and we just press that. Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Sometimes in the command prompt it can get a little bit confusing. Perfectly done. Okay, driver package deleted and uninstalled. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, the next way we're going to look at is and adding it manually using device manager. Okay, action. We could scan for hardware changes or let's do it this way. Okay, install hardware that I have. There we go. We're going to be installing a printer at this time, so basically let's find printer, click next, okay, yeah, that's fine, and now have disk. Basically, where did we have it saved, which is basically on the C drive in our printer driver folder, and over there, select the INF file, click OK, it says that, it says the signature is OK. Click next, click next, and then once again, we could click that, say install, and it'll take about a minute or so to install the driver this way. And then once it's finished, basically we would plug in our device and let it go. Now we're not going to share our printer. Of course, a little bit selfish, right? There we go. Click finish. Perfect. Okay. 
Now all we need to do is reviews. It's coming over there. When we restart or when we turn on our printer, it'll come up as another one over here. Okay. Now we'll have a quick look at just some quick troubleshooting. Basically, in our device manager, we can have a look at all devices. For example, that one has an issue. We might want to kind of like get the new device driver for it, or we might want to uninstall the driver or remove the device, etc. Okay. How can we view it? We can view things by connection, show hidden devices. Okay. We can also have a look at, for example, right clicking over there, uninstalling it, look at the properties section. Okay. We can look at events, any events that have happened. We can look at the resources. Okay. We can go into details and then hardware IDs and lots and lots of ideas. Basically, what we'll be looking for is generally to find out if there are any conflicts, any errors, what are the error messages, and then try and resolve them. Okay. Um, thank you for watching.